hello, hello. Do you know the song that says, I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in, I gave my heart to him. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. <laughs> and it gets faster and faster and faster and faster. Now, why am I singing that song? It's because our devotional title for today is What's Inside? I'm Andy K, and today is May 25th. Our scripture text is 1 Samuel 16 and 7, which says, People judge others by what they look like, but I judge people by what is in their hearts. I love to sing, and I love competition. Those are great characteristics for being on a swim team. From ages 6 to 10, I swam on a local team each summer. We liked racing each other as well as other teams, but we found other things to compete on as well. One of our favorites was seeing who could hold their breath the longest. Someone was always happy to be the timer, and we would take the biggest breaths we could and then dive underwater. Anyone who could hold their breath for close to a minute or more was considered a champion. So I was surprised to find that the armadillo, that funny armor-covered little animal, can hold its breath for several minutes. This keeps it from choking on soil and dust that flies up as it digs, and it's also a useful skill when it goes for a swim. Because, believe it or not, in spite of all that heavy body armor, armadillos are great swimmers. I discovered two other surprising things about armadillos, which is the Spanish word for man in armor. <laughs> First, when, when startled, it can leap up more than three feet into the air. And a second, female armadillos have four identical babies that are born with their armor on. If you saw an armadillo wandering along the roadside, you might also notice their armor. But obviously, we need to look past the outer image to see the truth of the animal. God wants us to do the same in our relationships with each other. To not just admire the outside, but appreciate the hidden talents and skills of each other. That's so true. I know so many persons, they, on the inside, their loving hearts, their kindness, their helpfulness, the gifts and talents that they use so wonderful for God. I look at them and I have so much admiration for them. And that's what this story is saying. Look past the outside and look on the inside. Because the inside, what's on the inside, will come out. And so who you are, how you think and what you say, all starts on the inside and it comes out. So what is persons seeing and learning about you today? based on the things that you say, the things that you do. My prayer is that the beautiful characteristics of who it is and, and what it means to be God's disciples, like all those traits of being kind, of having patience, of being loving, of, of all those, the fruits of the Spirit, that those that are on the inside of us, they will come out so persons will see what's on the inside will show on the outside. Have a blessed day, y'all, and thank you for spending this week with me. Mwah.